Good morning, everyone. I need to make this statement, please. Let me start off by saying that many times when you hear Apostle Young say things about people that don't have no power, that comes off as being somewhat callous to a lot of people. And honestly, like I said, sometimes you have to be honest. And the same criteria that I pl apply to others, I apply to myself as well. Because we have to, we have to understand that power is going to be the key, and this is regards to COVID-19. Now, when we read Psalms 91, Hallelujah. Verse three says, "Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, or from the noisome, noisome pestilence." Hallelujah. And as we read down. Hallelujah. Verse 6 says, I'm going to read verse 5. It says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Verse 10 says, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Hallelujah. Why are we reading this stuff if we don't believe it? Why are we doing it? And you know, in order for us to come together and be unified, we have to come together on truth. You can't come together in bondage because that means everybody is going to be open. It's going to be open season on everybody because when you do not operate in the true revelation of the word, you're putting yourself in a harm's way because I'm going to tell you why. When we don't properly discern the word of God, we walk in error. And when we walk in error, a person puts themselves in a place where they're on the devil's playing ground because the only way you're going to be blessed by the word is to walk in the full manifestation of it. I'm talking to mature people this morning. It bothers me to no end. It irritates me to no end. When preachers preachers who say they have the, the authority of the Holy Ghost talk about social distancing, talking about wearing your mask. Really? Come on now. Listen, it bothers me to no end. And I have to confess that I have to be honest with me, with, with, with you. Hallelujah. How is somebody who has the power to heal COVID-19 talking about distancing, talking about be careful about wearing your mask? Really? Tear your certificate up. Tear your license up. You're not a minister. No, no, we have to be honest this morning. You're not. And you're lying and you're perpetrating and you're deceiving people. This Bible has power. The children of God created in the image of God. I'm not just talking, I'm not just talking about humans out here. I'm talking about people who are born again, carry the spirit of God on the inside of you. How can you pray for something that you're afraid of? I don't understand that for the life of me. Really, I don't understand it. And we have to be honest about this. I agonize lots of times when I say things. I know I've given, I, I agonize a lot of times when I say things. But we have to be honest. I'm tired of God's people being manipulated and controlled and put into greater bondage with a Bible. We cannot say obey the laws of the land when they conflict with the word of God. Does everybody understand that? When they conflict with the law of God and the word of God, we're speaking something contrary. We answer to a higher kingdom than the kingdom of this world. Hallelujah. And this is why a lot of people are getting sick and dying because they're either they have a state, they're in a state of apathy or if they're afraid of something that God has given them the power over. How can you manifest the kingdom if the kingdom of darkness ha I mean, has more of a pull on you than the kingdom of light. I had to say that Psalms 91 is a psalm of power, but we need to stop teaching it and preaching it if we don't believe it. We have to believe it. Brenda and I are not restricted in anywhere that we go because we have a covenant with God.
But not only that, we've made it a point to let people know that if they have COVID-19, we're going to pray for them. We have to be aggressive because what if they create, there, there, there's another mutation out there for, for unbeknownst to you. There's some other stuff that's going on out here now that, 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 that's, that's happening. And if, and if the church of Jesus Christ cannot handle COVID-19, heaven help anything else. And it's not just COVID-19, there's a spirit of intimidation, there's a spirit of violence out here that wants to take this world over. People are, are willing to impose their will on those that don't believe like them. We need power, beloved. I, 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 I beg of you, I implore you, please hear me today. Pastor, I mean, Apostle Young loves people. He really does. But I get tired of people being put in bondage with a Bible. I have to be honest with you. Hallelujah. And, 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 and people are so used to hearing watered down stuff, they don't want to hear real truth. Hallelujah. They, 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 you got to hear truth. You can't just hear what you want to hear. You can't just have itching ears. You got to be able to hear. Now, the truth is going to challenge you to live right. It may not, you may not like it. Or it may not feel good to you, but truth is always going to challenge you to do the right thing. When we deal with God, God takes us out of our comfort zone and he brings us where he wants us to be. God is not going to cater the gospel to our way of thinking. It has to be catered to his way of thinking. Oh my God, I feel this right now. Oh my God, we want you to be able to, to, to walk in the truth of the Holy Ghost. Do not walk in fear because if you're connected with people who are speaking doubt, you're going to be a partaker of what you're connected to. Let's be real. You don't have to listen to me. Really, you don't. But if you're going to keep listening to people and being connected with people who are speaking doubt in regards to COVID-19, in regards to everything else, you're going to be a partaker of that. It is what it is. You only gravitate to stuff that you, that you embrace. You're going to gravitate to stuff that you embrace. Does everybody understand that? And believe me, when you connect to the stuff, there's a spiritual connection as, as well as a physical connection. And when you connect it with people that are walking in doubt, walking in unbelief, perpetrating one thing, saying one thing and living something else, you, you, you're, you're connected to that. And if you sow seed into that type of stuff, you, you, that's what you're going to get. That, that's what's going to come up. That's just the way it is. Like I said, that's what's going to come up. What The ground that you sow into, you're going to get a harvest based upon where you sow that seed. Hallelujah. And that, and that covers finances. That covers everything. Listen, you don't have to listen to a word Apostle Young has to say. If you think you're smarter than somebody who's been down that road, go ahead with your bad self. I've had to renounce my connections with people. I've had to renounce my connections with ministries and stuff like that because stuff was happening that should not have been happening. Hallelujah. And once I renounced my connection with that stuff, I saw stuff happen in a different light. Hallelujah. This Bible is the word of God and we need to believe it. We need to preach it the way it is. Whether we walk in it the way it is or not, it is what it is. We need, to, we need to walk in and we need to teach other people to do this. But we have to be examples of the word. I'm a little bit animated, but this is what God wants for us. He wants us to walk in the full measure of the power. Stop lying to people. Stop telling people to operate in fear when we're supposed to operate in faith. And some people say, well, that's blind faith. No, when you have a revelation from God, it's not, bl it's not blind faith. Because revelation is tangible. Something that's in your spirit is tangible. You don't have to wonder about that because it's real on the inside of you. When this word of God becomes real, that becomes more real than, than what the world is preaching. I speak this over you right now and I humbly tell you, don't do not let lukewarm people govern how you're to navigate in this, in this three-dimensional world. I've seen this. Hallelujah. Like I said, and I'm not, and I don't say this to be arrogant. It is what it is. Either we're gonna the remnant walk by a different beat. I'm gonna say it like this: the remnant of God operate by a different beat. Be deceived if you want to. That's your choice. But the remnant 
are going to be bold. They're going to be courageous, but they're not just walking in blind obedience. They have a tangible understanding of evidence that what they believe is real. We'll be talking to you again real soon. We love you. Be blessed in the Holy Ghost. Thank <music> you.